Yep, you know it. It's time. It's time for another 30 minute challenge. Let's get this show on the road. Now to make this challenge a bit more interesting, this is what I'm going to do. If I don't complete the project within 30 minutes, I will give you an ironclad guarantee that I will run down our main street absolutely starkers. Yep, no gear on. May the challenge gods be on my side. You've got to be confident to make a guarantee like that. <laughs> ah, there's nothing like an ironclad nudity guarantee to help spur you on. I might have to work on my tan just in case. It could get a bit nasty. G'day folks, my name's Uncle Knackers and you're watching DIY for Knuckleheads. Now, on with the project. Now this is going to sound pathetic and irresponsible, and it is, but we don't actually have a house number at the front of the house or in the street. It's hopeless, absolutely hopeless, and there's no excuse for it. So what I thought I'd do is build a wooden plaque with a number and a planter box and I'll stick it up next to our front door and with a bit of luck it'll look okay and more importantly it'll come in under that critical 30 minute mark. <laughs> please, I beg of you, please, under 30. The world's not ready. It is not ready for my pasty body. <laughs> oh, please, I beg of you. Now just very quickly, these are the materials you'll need. I'm using four hardwood fence palings. You could use pallet wood or anything else for that matter. It's totally up to you. And I'm cutting these to a length of 530 millimeters. I have a couple of extra strips down the back here, which I'll rip down and use for the backing for the wooden plaque. I have a couple of numbers, which I've printed off and cut out. We have some paint and also a plastic planter box which I may or may not use yet. I haven't decided. All right, that's basically it. And before we start cutting anything, let's start the clock. Game on. Okay, let's get this show on the road by first of all, cutting those four hardwood fence palings which will make up the plaque or the sign. And like I said earlier, I'm cutting mine to a length of 530 millimeters. You can cut yours to any size you like, but 530 for me worked well for the size of my numbers and for the size of the planter box. Now to rip down those strips for the backing for the wooden plaque, all I'm using is my trusty old circular saw with the guide inserted. I'd use my table saw for the strips, but this stuff here is chock-a-block full of really fine nails, and I don't want to wreck that blade. All right, let's do it. Whenever ripping stuff down with your circular saw, make sure you clamp down the piece that you're working on, and also ensure that the fence is always hard up against the material that you're trying to cut. Now, did I or did I not say earlier that there were nails in this timber? Told ya. Righto, next on the agenda. Get these four pieces and line them all up. And remember, this is the back of our sign. And then get these strips that we've just cut and we'll attach those to the outside edge. And the very top one will leave a gap just big enough so we can slide in a couple of those fence palings. Cool. Clear as mud. Beautiful. Let's do it. Okay, it's time again to drag out the trusty old DeWalt drop saw, chop saw or miter saw and get these pieces measured and cut the size. Too easy. Now time wise, we're looking at around the eight minute mark. Well, that's not too bad, let's keep going. 
Okay, all these pieces are now cut and all we need to do is to nail them on. Now, I'm just going to tack these initially with my nail gun because it's hard down on my bench and the nails are going to go right through into that bench. So I'll tack it first, then flip it over and go from the top. And I'll also put this piece on the bench here and butt all those pieces up to it. That way they'll be all nice and straight. Get that piece in there, like that, looks good. Alrighty, now these two pieces here, they'll just slide in, like that. So just turn the sign over and finish nailing it off. And of course the nails will shoot through the back side of it, so grab your grinder and just grind them back. Alrighty, I think it's time for a time check. Okay, we're looking at around, let's see, about 11 minutes. <sighs> a touch over 11 minutes. To tell you the truth, it's a little bit longer than what I was hoping for because the next couple of jobs could be a touch time consuming. The next thing we need to do is to cut these numbers into the face of this plaque or sign with my jigsaw. And when that's done, attach the planter box. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. Anyway, let's get that jigsaw out, cut those numbers, and reset the clock. Let's go. Some spray adhesive would have been very handy doing this job. Being able to stick those numbers down would have been so much easier. Oh well, lesson learnt. Before we start cutting with the jigsaw, we just need to drill a few holes in those numbers as a starting point for the jigsaw. And in my experience, the more holes, the merrier, especially if you're cutting something that has lots of curves, as having all those holes in there gives you more opportunity to reposition your jigsaw to attack the cut at a different angle well worth it. Whew. Oh. Mate, that was nerve wracking. That three, I was really concerned that I was going to break those little bits off there but they survived the journey, so that's all good. It could have been two ones, couldn't it? But nah, it had to be a complicated three. Typical. Anyway, the clock stopped at 19 minutes, so we have 11 minutes left to get that planter box on. So let's do it. That's 21 minutes down, nine to go. Just over 22 minutes, come on, move it. Okay, so there's the box for our planter, that's all done. Now all we need to do is to put in these slats for the bottom. And I'm just getting a little bit stressed at the moment. Uh, one slat goes there, another slat goes there, with a gap in the middle for drainage. Alrighty. Okay, Shane, calm down, calm down. Let's get this together. Ah, come on. Quick, 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 quick. I'm getting a bit stressed out today because I thought I was going to do it quicker than what I've done, which is fairly normal, I suppose. Things always take longer. Come on, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Ah, okay. 
Alrighty, there's the bottom one. Goes like that. Let's nail this in place. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Oh, where's the top? Top's about there. Oh, about there. Oh, no, where is it? Yeah, up there. Uh -huh. Oh, quick. Okay. Push that in. Oh, that's good. That's good. Alrighty. Okay. That's 24 minutes. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Come on, quick. Turn this around. Let's show you what we've got. Come on, come on, come on. So there's the planter box on the front there. All you need to do is drop this piece in. Like, ah, get in there. Like that. That's in. And now I want to cut the backing and paint the backing for this section here. Quick, what's the time? What's the time? Five minutes left. Now, just very quickly to finish the job off, I've got these pre painted slats which will go in behind the number in that frame, that section behind the plaque. And these slats just give the number a bit of color, makes it pop and stand out. And you can also chop and change the slats whenever you like to suit your mood. And I reckon this 30 minute challenge turned out fantastic. And with that, let's stop the clock. Okay, stop the clock. And we are on, I think that's 26 minutes and 15 seconds. So that was 26 minutes and 15 seconds, but I'm going to add on two minutes for the painting of these slats. This paint is an oil-based paint and it would have taken too long to dry, so I had to paint these beforehand. So 26 minutes, 15 seconds, plus two minutes, is 28 minutes and 15 seconds. Man, that was stressful. But I did get to beat the 30 minute challenge, which means I get to keep these clothes on. And trust me, that's a good thing. Great tip, knackers. Alrighty, let's find some plants for that planter and hang this up on the wall. All right, let's hang it. So, it wants to go about there. Get that nice and level, which is like that. Now I'll just put those slats in. like that to give it some color and we'll finish it off with my stunning display of succulents what do you reckon I really like it and I hope you liked it too so that's it folks I hope you enjoyed that 30 minute challenge and as per usual big thumbs up is always greatly appreciated and if this is your first time to my channel please hit that subscribe button for more handy tips all right I'm really happy it turned out fantastic but after all that stress I really need a cup of tea so till next time I'm out of here cheers